morning, my fellow brothers and sisters in the Lord. So for today, we will be talking about Luke 14 verses 19 to 21. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen and I go to examine them. Please have me excuse. And another said, I have married a wife and therefore I cannot come. So the servant came and reported these things to his master. Then the master of the house became angry and said to his servant, Go out quickly to the streets and lanes of the city and bring in the poor and crippled and blind and lame. Now we will go back to the previous verses, wherein the master of the house prepared a great banquet beforehand and invited people to come. When the day came, many of the invited guests didn't come and they made foolish excuses. In verse 24, Jesus stated that not one of those men will get a taste of his banquet. So this talks about the Jews of Jesus' day who rejects Jesus as the promised Messiah in the prophecy. The kingdom was prepared for them, but when Jesus came, they rejected him. In John 1 verse 11, it says, He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. All three of Jesus are insincere on the part of those who are invited. The interpretation is that the Jesus of Jesus' day, the Jews of Jesus' day had no valid excuse to reject Jesus because they had every reason to believe him. The invitation was extended to the poor, crippled, blind, and lame. These were the very type of people that the Jews considered as a name. Therefore, it showed how graceful God is. Those who ignored the invitation to the banquet chose their own punishment. Same is true to us this day. God keeps on calling us to come at the banquet He prepared for us. And it is our choice to come or not. It's as simple as that. Anyone who rejects God's invitation will not taste the joys of heaven. Now, if you do not take seriously your calling, someone else will. God can replace you with someone who can do your calling better. Do not let earthly pleasures ruin your eternity. Always abide in the Lord and be intimate in your relationship with Him. God bless.